everybody, Coach EJ here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to wrap your hands in four easy steps. Now, one thing I wanna clarify before we get started is the length of the wrap. There's two different lengths. One's 180 centimeters and the other is 108. We're gonna be using 180 today. All right, let's get started. Okay, now step one, we have to make and set the padding. Now to do this, we wanna make sure that we wrap up, we roll up our wraps and make sure that the thumb loop is facing on the outside. From here, I wanna insert my index finger, okay? And I'll pull the wrap down and bring my other three fingers out. When I do this, I wanna make sure that the wrap's coming through the backside of the fingers. I wanna make sure that my fingers are fully spread out and I wrap around five times. Two, three, four, five. Now I'm gonna bring the, bra uh, the padding down with my free index finger, I'm gonna pull on the inside to release some of the tension and get my other fingers out. Now I have the padding made. From here, I'm gonna go and place it on top of my knuckles. One thing I wanna keep in mind or to note is I wanna make sure the wrap's coming through the bottom end and aiming towards the thumb. From here, I'm gonna use my thumb to pinch, to pinch the one end of the wrap with my index finger. I'm gonna give myself some slack and come around the back, the back end. When I do this, I wanna come over the top of the padding, but I wanna make sure I go through the middle and top section. From here, I'm gonna wrap around one more time. And this time I'm going through the bottom and middle, fully encasing the padding on top of my knuckles. From here, I'll wrap around one more time, but this time I'm gonna come down towards the wrist. Now step two, securing the thumb. Now to start this up, we're gonna go ahead and wrap around the wrist and lace the wrap through the index and thumb. From here, I'm gonna bring my palm up to the sky. I'm gonna bring my pinky and thumb together to make a little indention here. Bring the wrap through there pull tightly. From there, I'm gonna aim to bring my palm to the ground again. And to finish securing the thumb, I'm gonna bring the wrap through the ring and pinky finger. Step three, weaving the wraps between our fingers. Now, as of right now, we already have the wrap weaving through one section. So we're gonna continue on right here. So we're gonna pull down, and we're gonna pull the wrap towards the edge. In this case, it'll be the edge of the pinky. I'll make a fist. And what I'm gonna do now is cross the back side of my hand, wrap around the wrist once. Now I'm gonna pull the wrist up, I'm gonna pull the wrap up to the top. I'm gonna weave now through the middle and index finger. Pull down to get some tension. I'm gonna bring the wrap out towards the edge. In this case, it's towards the index finger. Same thing as last time, I'm gonna cross the back side of the hand, wrap around the wrist once. And this time, I'm weaving through the middle and ring finger. I pull down and then I'm gonna go ahead and go towards the pinky side edge, make a fist, and finish up the process by going around the back side of the hand and start to continue on to the wrist. Step four, wrapping the wrist. Now what I'm gonna do now is wrap around the wrist three times, going down the forearm, and then I'm gonna follow that same pattern coming back up towards the hand, wrapping three more times we're coming up. If you do get any extra slack, you follow the same pattern you did previously, going back down and coming back up until the wrap is finished. One little preference I do have, I do like tucking in the wrap right here. It just helps me get a better grip when I make a, when I make a fist. Hey everybody, right. if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to help steer the direction of my content, feel free to make a list of techniques you'd like to see covered or demonstrated in the comments below.